What is up, cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gavin, and today we have a showdown live um, showcasing the uh, meta of the month, which is Inheritance. Basically, what that means is you can take any set from any Pokemon and put it on another Pokemon, uh, including ability, well, like exclusive to abilities and uh, movesets. So basically, what that means is you can take something like this Scizor here and give it the ability and moves of a Heatran, That's, which is what I've done for this set. So, uh, but in doing that, it keeps all of Scizor's stats, but it gets all the access to all the things that Heatran can do. So this Scizor is actually really good. I like it a lot. Uh, so it's leftover Scizor with Flash Fire, so it has no weaknesses, uh, with Iron Head, Substitute, Stealth Rock, and Earthquake. A lot of people forget that Heatran gets Earthquake, so you catch a lot of things by surprise by using it. Um, and Iron Head is still really good stab. Uh, substitute with leftovers, just because you're naturally pretty bulky, just being a uh, max HP Scizor. Um, Stealth Rock is, I think, our only form of hazards on the team. Um, oh no, we do have Sticky Web on uh, Tyranitar. But um, I'll talk about that when we get there. But really good set, really bulky, really offensive. We have Choice Scarf, Torkoal, Blacephalon. <laughs> Uh, with Drought, no, with Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Sludge Bomb. Torkoal's uh, coverage is pretty limited, but Choice Scarf, Drought, Eruption from the Blacephalon is all you really need. That's pretty much the only move you'll ever click, because um, it just does incredible damage. Um, with max HP, max speed. We have, I'll talk about Zerkatry first, actually. We have uh, Electric Terrain, or... Um, Electric Surge, Terrain Extender, Zerkatry, which is obviously Tapu Koko, with Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Thunder Wave, and Defog. Um, I'm actually going to decrease the Special Attack Investment and give it some more bulk. Um, just because we want to be able to live some, some more hits. Instead of being modest, we'll make you calm. Yeah. Because in Electric Terrain, it's going to hit really hard anyway. Um, so, I, just having a little bit more bulk allows you to survive some weaker things, uh, some weaker earthquakes from different things. With Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Thunder Wave, and Defog, it's our only hazard removal on the team, um, so Zerkatry is really valuable. And it sets up two of our other Pokemon for, um, for their sweeps. We have Electric Seed, Unburden, uh, Landris, which is a Sceptile, with Acrobatics, Swords Dance, Earthquake, and Rock Slide, um... Basically, it's just a Landorus set, but instead of, you know, like, Z-Fly, we have Acrobatics with Electric Seed and Unburden, so we basically get plus two speed, and we have access to plus two uh, attack as well. Then we have Life Orb, uh, Surge Surfer, Zapdos, which is uh, obviously a little in Raichu, with Thunderbolt, Psychic, Nasty Plot, and Surf. Uh, we give it slightly less, well, significantly less speed to give it some more bulk uh, just because at, at plus two speed, you're going to out, be outspeeding a lot of things anyway. I don't do that for Landorus because we have Electric Seed, which gives us plus one defense. And um, this isn't always a thing. Because once you switch out, uh, even if you come back in on, on Electric Terrain, the Unburdened Boost goes away. Which is kind of sad. Then we have Tyranitar, which is an area dose um, with Scope Lens Sniper with Focus Energy Sucker Punch. Um, we also have Night Slash for, you know, more consistent damage, um, but Crit, Super, like, or Crit, Sniper, Sucker Punch from a Tyranitar is going to hurt a lot anyway. And we have Sticky Web, Sticky Web on there just for utility and some kind of uh, surprise. Really quick, before we get into battles, I forgot to mention this at the beginning, so I'm cutting it in. Check out the merch. It's going to be on sale for probably two or three more weeks. I haven't decided yet, um, but link will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to send me eggs to the Egglock. Uh, which will be starting up on Tuesday. Send Zangoose eggs for Pokemon Platinum. Check out the um, tutorial for how to do that that went up yesterday. Um, but send them to ctgagglock at gmail.com. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the live. So it is a lot of fun. It's very, very unpredictable. So, like, you see what each Pokemon is when it's on the field, but you, like... I don't know what any of these are going to be. I can predict that you are probably a Greninja, because that's really common. Um, you might be a Breloom, because I've seen that as well. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and lead Scizor to get up rocks. So you lead Skarmory Toxpex. That's so good. We're going to get up our rocks. As he probably will too. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead and Earthquake, which is going to do huge damage as he sets up his spikes. He might switch into uh, one of these two now, so I'm going to Iron Head. He goes Buzzwool. Okay, that's that's fine too. Your Hitmontop. Hitmontop Buzzwool. That's that's also really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Zerkatry. So I want to defog. Because with these hazards up. Yeah, with these hazards up, um Blacephalon can't have fun. I would think he switches. Because my next play here would be to go to probably Landorus and go for game. Because, like, Landorus at plus two speed with acrobatics is a Pokemon you can just go for game on. As he just lets me defog, um, I'm gonna Thunderbolt because there's no reason not to. And I don't think I'm going to be faster, um, but I'm just gonna click Thunderbolt again. That's fine with me. I've got quite a few more turns of electric terrain. Um, I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave on this thing, even though plus two Landorus does outspeed. Uh, which is what we are going to do. Um, and you are a fighting type, so this acrobatics is completely free. You go Tox Specs, that's fine. Uh, we can just rock slide. Oh, nope, 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 not rock slide. Earthquake. That's what we want to do. Because I don't want hazards up. Actually, is there any reason why I don't just acrobatics again? No. Because that'll kill uh, you. It'll kill Ninjask. It'll kill this thing. It will do probably like 50% to the Altaria. It'll, it'll definitely kill the Greninja. I think the only things that will live it may be the Altaria, depending on the spread and the Zerkatry, because it resists, obviously. Um, but he's definitely in a bit of a pickle here. I think, yeah, I think Landris just wins here. Because we can just acrobatic spam. We're going to outspeed everything. Um, the... Um, maybe if the um, Ninjask has, like, Water Shuriken? But I really doubt it, and I don't think it would do enough to kill us anyway, even with five hits. Um, just because Ninja, it's not Stab. Um, well, it would be Stab because we saw it was Protean. Uh, but Ninja's special attack is awful. Um, and I, I don't know what the Greninja would be. But I, unless it's like Fur Coat, it definitely wouldn't live this. Hello, friend. What are you, uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, there's no way you win this game, friend. This Landorus just wins. sit here for another 30 seconds um so i'll see you next game unless this person comes back all right so that last match uh they did not come back so we get to um showcase the power of um you know basically it's basically you know dual dance landorus but you get one of the dances off automatically when coming in do i really i don't think i really need rocks here so i think i'm gonna save scissor um instead of just being like a like sacrifice lead, I think I'm gonna save it a little bit more for damage on the Tyranitar and Gardevoir because we handle both of those quite well. So I think I'm just gonna lead uh, Blacephalon. So he leads Excel or what are you? A Shuckle. That's so mean. Um, so you are max 427. So we definitely outspeed you with the Choice Scarf. And you are probably Sash. Yeah, and you get out your Sticky Web or Stealth Rock. That works as well. So, you can probably go into Tyranitar, which is Lycanroc Dusk. Um, let's go Zergatry, because that also has Sucker Punch. 
is you just go with Cell Rock. That's also a really good play. Um, another one of those kills me, actually. So these rocks are going to be up for game. That sucks. That really sucks. Um, let's go... Do I have a land here? I think I do. And we're going to go for game again. Because I don't think that Lycan Rock um, really gets too much that can take us out at plus one defense. So I think he wants to switch. So I'm just going to Swords Dance. Let's go. Toxic Heal Raylu. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just Earthquake. Because you go Suicune. And you are Quagsire. Ooh, that's a good set. Oh, that's annoying. Um, so we just Acrobatics. He probably has Ice Beam. No, you just have Recover. How much are we doing, dude? 39. Oh. So... I'm just going to do as much damage off on this thing as I can. He has no reason not to recover every other turn. Or just every turn now until I die. But like I said, just going to get off as much damage as I possibly can. As he goes for Amnesia. Um, that seems like crit setup bait for Tyranitar. So let's go for a Focus Energy. As he poisons me, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go for a Night Slash. Actually, I'm gonna go for Sticky Web. Because a Crit Sniper um, Night Slash from a Tyranitar should... That did nothing. Wow, okay. I severely underestimated Suicune's physical ball. Um, so yeah, we lose to that thing. There's, I can't touch it. Once we got the plus two uh, special defense, I, I lost. If I'd had Zapdos out in the electric terrain, maybe that would make a difference. Um, but because it's, because it was a Quagsire, it's unaware. Which is why, uh, Landorus was doing nothing to it. Um... I do like rocks in this game for the Pinsir and the Archaeops, so I'm going to lead Scizor. This, is, oh, this team's going to be so annoying, this seems so bulky. Let's go Agron Archaeops, so you had Sturdy. Fire Punch. I get free rocks. Don't let anyone ever tell you there's no such thing as free rocks. I'm going to go for a nice Iron Head. Because you do have Sturdy. Um, but this will bring you down to your Sturdy. Actually, your Sturdy is going to be gone now. So you are also a Heatran. Um, I'm just going to Earthquake. That's going to do 26 as he got, as he gets his rocks. Um, let's go Zerka Tree here. As you go Will-O-Wisp. That, that, that was risky. That was really risky. We're going to Thunder Wave. Just for, just cause. You go Lava Bloom. Um, not sure why you would do that. We're going to Defog. Get rid of these rocks. And then we're... we're oh. I don't want to go straight out to Landorus. Actually, I play as Blacephalon. Actually, what am I thinking? Because you are Heatran, but you're still not going to like taking this Earth Power. Because that is... Oh, that's, uh, that's a tough roll. I'm going to take it, though. We get the roll. All right, cool. So what do you what do you bring in here? You don't know yet that I'm Choice Scarf. You know I'm not Specs, but you go into that anyway. Um, let's go... We'll go back to Scizor, because I don't think that thing can really touch us. That's... Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. Because I, I ran that for a little bit. I ran it and discovered it wasn't very good. Um, so I'm going to get my rocks back up. I think that's my best play. Because we can bring in our Blacephalon. Because I think... What is Blacephalon's base speed? 107. Oh, no. Um, so that does outspeed our Blacephalon if it is Choice Scarf. 
So I'll need to get Zerka Tree back in first to get the Electric Terrain up, and then we can go Landorus. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, even though I fully expect um, this thing to just take us out. There's no reason for it not to. Let's go! Um, I'm gonna defog. Okay, well, he just quits. So, um, I think he had a legitimate chance of winning still, depending on what the rest of his sets were. I mean, we only saw two of them. So, and he didn't even see that many of mine either. So, I don't really know what his problem was, but it's whatever. Ooh. That Swamper and Glissapod are immediately a problem. Because Swamper is, is so good in this format because you can make it um, a Zoomerill and give it, you know, Belly Drum and Huge Power and Aqua Jet, which is on a Swamper is phenomenal. Um, or you can make it like Politoed or something with Drizzle and then have it a Mega Evolve into Mega Swamper and basically set up the rain for itself. So I think he leads with something that's Drizzle, which is probably the Swamper. So, how do I handle that? Um, I think I want, I think I want rocks. Rocks are good against like half his team, so. And only one thing resists rocks, so. Yeah, I do want rocks. And I think this scissor spread can take um, one water move from Mega Swamper in the rain, I think. If this friend is here. We have not gotten to use Zapdos like at all in here. As he leads Galissapod, which okay, so that's that's the Pelipper. Um yeah, I want rocks. I would say he probably just U-turns here, maybe? So he just goes straight for damage. Um, which means that probably has defog as well. I'm going to do... Do I rock again? Maybe go for the flinch. So he just goes for another liquidation. Um, let's go Zerka Tree now, because we are 202 speed, we guarantee outspeed it and threaten it out. So I would think that he now goes his Swampert, so I'm going to double out to Blacephalon. I'm playing risky. Go Swampert. Yes. No, you're Politoed, Fluff. Um, oh, that's bad news. That's bad news, bears. Mm. To avoid the Earthquake, I think it's going to be an Earthquake. Yeah. Oh, wow, we live. Um, but this thing easily just clicks. Oh, we like to train. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot the electric train was up. That's awesome. Ooh, okay, so biggest threat on the team gone. I mean, potentially biggest threat on the team. Uh, Victini could be really threatening as well. What are you? Ludicolo. Interesting. Um, I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. Zapdos is not messing around right now. So Zapdos coming in clutch when I honestly was just sacking it because I didn't know what else to do. Um, so I want to keep Placephalon in the bag. So we have a couple turns left of Electric Terrain. Let's go Landorus. So we are max speed. What are you? What are you? Ribambi. Hmm. Um, what 
does Ramon Bean get that can hurt a Landorus? Other than HP Ice? I don't think anything, so I'm just going to Sword Stance. Energy Ball. Okay. Well, that's the game. I'm fairly certain. Because that does not live. Um, there's zero chance of this living. I'm really sorry for that noise. Uh, if you can hear that wind, it's because we're right in the middle of that uh, win big winter storm. Um, yeah, match with Forfeited. So, Landorus, hugely, hugely powerful in this format. Alright, so we had a couple games where it was just complete stall trash, uh, which is not fun for me to play and not fun for you to watch. So I edited them out. Uh, so we're doing a little bit more. I think... Did we see this team before? Did we see this team before? No, it, I think it was very similar, but it wasn't the same team. Um, so I kind of want rocks for you and you. So I'm going to lead Scizor. Because I think you probably lead Ferrothorn, potentially. You lead Marowak. Cool. You, oh, you're Victini. That's incredible. Um, instead of rocks, I'm just going to go straight for an earthquake for damage. That's fine. Um, I'm going to substitute because I think you do that. Yeah. As you go less. Or not, not, not the Cephalon. Stack Attacker, potentially. Which is Crawdon. Ooh. I don't know how to deal with that, to be completely honest. Man, that's a... Oof. That's a good set. But I got my rocks up. Um... He definitely has Aqua Jet. So I think I'm going to go Tyranitar and Sucker Punch for damage. So he goes Aqua Jet, which will kill me, yeah, because it's adaptability plus two. Um, so I think my only play here is Zapdos. Zapdos is... Well, what is better defenses? So you are 350 to a 6, you are 370 to a 6. So Zerka Trees are a better plan. Um, and there's no reason not to Thunderbolt. I think Zerka Tree is a slightly bulkier than Tyranitar, just be simply because uh, it's not weak to the Aqua Jet. That's a really good set. He's probably calculating right now if I live this. But I am fairly defensive. Okay, thank god. Because that, that would have cleaned my entire team. So now, what was the Marowak? Um, Victini, that's right. So I don't think he has too much to handle the circuitry. It should be faster than everything on his team. Um... So Porygon Z. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam, because I would assume that he Mega Evolves. Which I'm still gonna be faster than. Uh, and it is, it is our best damage anyway. Sweet. So, big damage. As he goes for the Trick Room again. Um, which actually really hurts us. Uh, because this team is really focused around being fast. Um... I think we have to go Zapdos. I think Zapdos is our only play. As we go for a Psychic. Although, I think a Mega Ampharos Ice Beam will kill us. We're definitely going to be slower. Because um, what do you have for moves? Probably Trick Room, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, um, Toxic. Here, Porygon Z, maybe?
I would even think it's worth throwing Wild Charge and Thunderbolt because you can get an attack boost. And Ampharos's attack isn't the worst in the world. Um, so we're guaranteed in Trick Room going to be slower than everything on his team. Um, so I think we just have to stall out the Trick Room for another turn. So depending on what he goes into here, um, we let Zapdos die. I did not name this Raichu. Why are you named Raichu? Let's see why it's Zatu. So I'm just going to Thunderbolt. As you give, wow, you just give me, you just give me your fin. Um, okay. So I'm going to do this. Because there's nothing, across my, there's nothing nothing can do to me. Um, I'm going to Swords Dance, because you show, wow, that's a lot. I'm just going to do this. Um, Necrozma gets no priority, so this is the freest earthquake of my life. Goodbye. Uh, and I do believe that is the game. Ferrothorn is Celebi. Um, I am plus two. Ooh, that crit might have mattered. Um... Yeah, yeah, I definitely think that crit probably mattered. Um, I mean, it depends on his spread, of course, but I mean, it's a Ferrothorn. I am a plus two Landorus using a boosted, you know, itemless um, acrobatics, though, so I don't really know. Um, but t definitely check out this meta. This meta is a lot of fun. Um, I wouldn't take it too seriously. You know, as you can see, I'm not even 1,200. I'm not taking it super seriously. Um... But it is a lot of fun. It's a really good test of your adaptability, I guess, and your creativeness. I'm not a very creative person. And every one of these sets I got from um, playing at somebody else or watching um, people on YouTube play. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at CoolTrainerGav. And until next time, smile later.